guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here for this video today i'm going to be trying to assess and demonstrate for those interested how much difference using a different different audio interface is going to make from the same quality we're going to get from a microphone in uh the case today going to be using the audio technica at2020 which is the microphone you can see here it's the microphone i've been using for about the last two months on this YouTube channel. I picked it up this summer and I've been really happy with it so far. Um, I know it's considered a quite old microphone. It's considered a workhorse microphone. It's considered a safe and steady uh, choice for what it costs, which is roughly $100. Now, uh, because this is gonna be a technical sound comparison test, I'm gonna for explain pretty much everything I do regarding sound in this video. So firstly, that's the microphone AT2020. What you're listening to now, the first, uh, the control, if you will, is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. That's the audio interface I am using to record this presently. I have the gain trim set to about 55%, uh, percent, and that's going into my computer, which is running Ubuntu Linux, and I'm recording this using OBS Studio. Now, in terms of the levels, two things. Firstly, I am going to set the best level for the microphone or try to do that by doing some audio monitoring before I start with each video. And by the way, we're comparing the Behringer with this, uh, which is a Pile XLR to USB adapter. I bought this thing for when I'm traveling on the road and I don't want to pack a whole bulky audio interface in my luggage, not that the Behringer is that big, but you know, it's just kind of a more trim uh, solution for that. Um, and finally, I'm going to be doing uh, normalization to minus 23 LUFS. So those things are going to be equal, but if there are any major differences in tonality, etc., you should still be able to uh, hear those uh, even after the normalization. So here's the uh, level I'm using for this microphone. This is my audio interface here, and I have it set to 100% in uh, my Pulse Audio, which is my system audio input control here in Ubuntu. Um, and I'm going to be reading from Charles Dickens, um, A Tale of Two Cities, which is what I've been using for all my audio tests to date. So without further ado, let's go. And this is Audio-Technica 2020 with the Behringer Euphoria UM2. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven, we were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good and for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. All right, so that was our first audio sample. I'm gonna go ahead now and take this microphone off the Behringer, put it onto the Pile XLR to USB adapter, and let's see if we get a noticeable change in the sound quality. All right then, so I've just swapped over to my Pile USB sound card, same microphone, same room, same distance hopefully from the microphone. Now one um, very significant difference is that I did have to, even adjusting the gain on that little uh, gizmo, I did have to apply a significantly lower gain at my system level. I had to actually bring it all the way down to 29% in my system sound settings in order for it not to be going crazy high and clipping, whereas I was using the Behringer Euphoria UM2 at uh, the 100% uh, or zero dB offset level. So I've actually had to apply a minus 32.41 dB offset in order to get this kind of into uh, normal-ish territory here on Ubuntu. Um, but these, the, so these are the two settings. As I said, I'll normalize the output and let's have the same output with the different interface. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, 
It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on it being received for good or for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on it being received for good or for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I'm back now on the Behringer, my day-to-day -day audio interface. Be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments if you were able to perceive any really significant change in quality, tonality, etc., between those two audio interfaces, if you thought that one was better than the other, I'd also be very interested to hear. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Do feel free to subscribe if you want to get more videos from me here on YouTube.